conglomeration of fairy tales. It's about all the different characters you see or have heard of in fairy tales and they all come together into one and it just is a big explosion of amazingness. Into the Woods is about people who have to learn how to make choices in life. I feel the overall theme is multiple people wanting something and they think that getting that one thing will fulfill their dreams but then they come to find out that that isn't actually what they want and they just keep looking for more. Essentially three main stories. I'm with my wife trying to find a set of magical objects that which will then use to give me my wife a child, which we've been trying to have. It's about four fairy tales that get a little bit intertwined or mixed up when they go into the woods. Little Red Riding Hood, we have Jack and the Beanstalk, we have Rapunzel, and we also have Cinderella. Villains and heroes, but everyone kind of has a little bit of villain and hero in them. It's a great spin-off to your favorite fairy tales. We can have a lot of fun with it by seeing all these characters that we're familiar with, but also being introduced to new characters and how they kind of connect. Hello little girl, what's your rush? You're missing all the flowers. The sun won't set for hours. Your mother said straight ahead, and not to like or be missing. Into the woods, I guess, the biggest thing you can learn is to be careful what you wish for. We should be happy with what we have, and um, even though see, things may seem good, they're, they're not always like what they seem to be. There's been a lot of discussion about how Sondheim wrote the play to bring a community together against um, danger. Blame is laid and human nature is exposed. It's great messages. Uh, if we really listen uh, to what the words are saying and what the message of the, the show is, um, there's a lot there that for people to ponder and to think about. And if you want to just enjoy the show, you can enjoy the show, but you can find meaning. Children will listen and learn from the way that you behave. It's a message about parents as far as I'm concerned. But then, out here, your passionate, charming, considerate, clever. It takes one to begin, but then once you've begun, it takes two of us. Steps behind, always ten feet below, and she's just out of reach. The theater's been in existence for three years, and this is our first major production. When I decided to do Into the Woods, all I have is my little hundred seat theater here in our little town of Buna Vista. And I was miraculously offered the opportunity to perform it in a beautiful 545 seat theater in Clifton Forge. This is so beautiful! I can't believe we're doing it here! <laughs> Our production of Into the Woods is unique because it is taking from so many different parts of the area. We brought people from all over the region, people of all ages and different levels of theatrical background and just kind of brought together our talents. I really love getting to meet people from different parts of southwestern Virginia. We've got people from the Roanoke Opera, we've got people from Covington. We have just a good variety of um, folks that uh, have sacrificed a lot to put this production on. Everybody is just such kind people and they put so much into it so you can really feel the emotion of each and every character. It's been a bunch of different pieces with everyone kind of giving a little bit of input here and there. We're starting from scratch and we um, have our own, we make it our own. It's fun and exciting and it's a nice break from all the crazy. Come see into the woods! <laughs>